Hey guys, TC Lover here. Uh, it's been a week, but um, I haven't had a chance to make any videos. Um, I do apologise for this small gap in my um, schedule of uh, when I usually post videos. So I usually make one about one or two days at a time. Anyway, this uh, video is to talk about Hero Arrives. Um, the name of this title, the title of this video, will probably be something like um, Hero Arrives Deck Discussion. Um, I've taken it upon myself to make the deck. Um, it's not completely made yet because um, certain cards are not out yet and certain cards are in other decks and stuff like that. But um, I can pretty much talk about the uh, the main core of the deck. Of course, Hero Arrives, um, it got very popular recently from uh, the OCG when a World uh, Championship qualifier over there, um, the, the winner was a Hero Arrives deck. Um, the deck has a lot of little tricks but the main focus is to OTK. Um, it is definitely an OTK deck. Um, I played it on the DN recently and I think I went... I got about seven wins before I actually lost and that was against a friend of mine. So um, I would like to talk about the deck. Now the name of the deck comes from um, the OCG name for uh, A Hero Lives. Um, so that means that the deck itself starts off... We're going to start talking about A Hero Lives. <clears throat> if you know what it does, you pay half your life points while you have no monsters on your field and you special summon from your deck a level 4 or lower elemental hero. So from that you special summon elemental hero Stratus. Of course you're going to get this card, basically a lot of the cards in this deck is to get this card as quick as possible so you can get this out turn 1. Obviously the deck has got ways to get around Veilers but basically Stratus will search for a bubble man and obviously you're going to run 3 of them because uh, the deck needs free to work. So Stratus searches it and then you set your hand, obviously. It basically works like Bubble Beat. You set your hand and then you special summon Bubble Man in defense mode or attack mode, doesn't really matter. Um, obviously uh, the deck does run free Night Beam and free Mystical Space Typhoon. So you will get this uh, summons off quite often unless of course you don't run any, you don't draw into any of your spell or trap card hate. So once you've done that, you can exceed uh, these two cards into two different Xyz monsters. The first one which we know of is Blade Armor Ninja, which is the one that Bubble Beat uses. Of course, you do, in these two level 4s, you detach one from this card, and it can attack twice, and it's got 2200, so if you summon two of these, you can do 8800 damage and you can win. However, once the tin comes out, we will have access to Heroic Champion Excalibur. We'll have um, here as a picture. So what it does is you in these two level 4 warrior types um, once per turn you can detach both of its materials and it gains double the attack points so it goes up to 4000 and this effect lasts until the end of your opponent's turn so it has to do they have to deal with a 4000 attacker. Um, the difference between that card and this is mainly that Heroic Champion Excalibur allows you to get past scores. Another important thing to notice about that card is that um, you detach both its materials, which, which allows you to use Miracle Fusions, which you run free of, of course. Miracle Fusion, obviously, you banish, and then you special summon big monsters. This deck runs, it generally runs six monsters. Um, it runs Stratus, an alias, one alias, and it runs the Free Bubble Man. Of course, in the OCG build, it runs Zephyros because they have Iskiridal, but of course, we don't have access to that card, and because I'm from the UK, <clears throat> Once Iskurodal comes out in the book, the GX manga, um, I still won't be able to play it for at least another year. So I'm going to use Tatsuke Knight instead, which I'll have a picture of here from the Galactic Overlord. And what it does is that when it's in your graveyard and you have no cards in hand and your opponent declares a direct attack, you can special summon this card and you end the battle phase. And it's also a warrior type, so you can basically summon Stratus, go straight into Blade Armor Ninja and, and start doing damage from that. Um, of course, there are other things that you can do apart from Hero Lives. We have um, E-Emergency Call, as well as Reinforcement of the Army. Uh, these are used to get your Stratus, because <coughs> all you really need to do is get Stratus in your hand, and then you can start going off from there. Of course, you run other cards like Monster Reborn, at least what two while you're returning alive, because it, if we top deck this card, then you can bring back Bubble Man, and uh, Bubble Man's the only card in your hand if you top decked it, and you can draw two cards, and you can basically draw into your Miracle Fusions, into your other Bubble Mans, um, you can exceed. So it's really fantastic top deck potential in this deck. Okay, so the way that the deck gets around Stratus is basically the same way that Wind-Ups get around uh, Vader. Instant Fusion. Uh, Instant Fusion is 
the best way because what you use it to is to summon Carbonala Warrior, which I don't have a copy of, but I will have a picture of here. Carbonala Warrior allows um, it's for level four fusion monster that you can special summon with instant fusions, and um, it allows you to exceed into. Uh, it needs that. It gives you that other monster to exceed into um, a rank four. Um, of course, this this trap lineup. Um, doesn't really matter that much. However, you're going to be running these five: two Call of the Haunteds, two Compulsories, and a Solemn Judgment. Because you're not going to be running Warnings. Because with Hero Lives, you will be paying half your life points, so you won't have the money, money life points. You know what I mean? Uh, be paying for Warnings because you'll have no life points to be paying. So you don't need to run those. And Instant Fusion does actually take away a thousand of your life points so what it does do is the deck um, last resort you can actually make Utopia Ray and um, you know because you'll have a thousand life points or less so you can actually uh, do four thousand damage as well in that way so yeah that's pretty much the um, the the core of the deck I'm gonna go over an explanation of how the deck actually does its plays um, I'll open up with a random hand and uh, we'll see what happens Okay, so I'm going to draw five cards. Most important thing to understand with this deck is that um, the deck can actually OTK from just two cards, provided your opponent doesn't have a back row. Of course, that's why you need to draw six cards in your hand opening turn, so you can get to your removal, your MSTs and your night beams. But anyway, I'll start off by drawing six cards. Of course, this is not a complete deck, but you have to understand how um, I draw into my cards. So, so I drew into basically the perfect hand wasn't perfect, I mean I still I still have to I still need to work a bit with it. But the fact is is that if I open up the mirror with future fusion, um, I use it to put uh, Zephyros into the graveyard, which allows it to be bounced back into your hand, and then you special summon Zephyros. Of course you dump something like uh, Bubble Man or Alias. The point is is that you, as long as you have one of these in your hand, then you can quickly get to your Stratus. The best way to do it would be to go Hero Lives to pay half your life points. So special summon Stratus from your deck. Stratus goes from in, um, comes onto the field. Of course, you paid half your life points and you search for Bubble Man, which you will special summon the defense by setting all of the cards in your hand, which goes to, this goes to the grave. And obviously, future fusion will be, or well, just let's say reset it anyway. Okay, so at this point, you have an Elemental Hero Stratus, an Elemental Hero Bubble Man, and you have all the other cards in your hand set because you run very little monster counts, so you will have the spell and trap cards in your hand to set. Okay, so now you exceed into Blade Armor Ninja, but preferably, because you have Miracle Fusion, you're just, you want to make Excalibur instead. So this will be Heroic Champion Excalibur for the purpose of this scenario. So this is Heroic Champion Excalibur. Uh, uses effect to detach both its materials, which is a cost, so it doesn't matter if it gets failed. It goes up to 4,000 attack. Of course, if you attack now, it's like, yeah, attack, but we don't want to do that. We want to go even further. So of course, we do have Reinforce of the Army set equal another equal, and uh, a miracle fusion, and of course future fusion is great too. But basically you would use equal to search for a bubble man, and you can use the other equal to search for another one. Because really it doesn't matter if you do an inefficient play like that because you will have 4000 times 2 on the board, so you will actually be able to OTK just like that. So these two go to the grave, this stays set, and of course you have miracle fusion set. So now Bubble Man gets fusion, get exceeded into Blade Armor Ninja, or you can summon another Heroic Champion Excalibur, it's up to you. Detach one of its materials to make it uh, a double attacker. So now you have a 4000 and you have a 2200 which attacks twice. And you have three cards in your back row. Of course, if you need that extra damage, you can actually reinforce an of the army and search for another card if you wish, but it doesn't really matter at this point. Okay, so now you have the uh, the field, you want to you want to make sure that if they have a monster on their field, you're going to get your OTK through. So Miracle Fusion does get you that third monster. Um, obviously, most of the time it will be an Absolute Zero. So I'm going to remove these two out of play and summon an Absolute Zero, which puts basically the last 2500 you need to OTK. The deck definitely can do this pretty much whenever it wants. It goes its best for the deck to go second, so you can actually just OTK right there. Um, of course, sometimes the, the deck does not open very well, um, but that happens like one out of ten times. So if you're playing in a major tournament, you know, where you only need to open well um, two times in a row, then you shuffle your deck and you get another, you know, consistency uh, shuffle, um, then you can actually avoid getting a bad hand for an entire YCS. So yeah, that's pretty much my um, explanation of how the deck actually OTKs. It's very simple, but um, it's very, very effective.
So yeah, that's my explanation of the deck. Um, I hope you gained an insight into how the deck works and exactly how potent it can be. It basically covers all the meta because um, it can get around Vela, um, it can deal with decks that conserve their hand because it basically punishes them for it. Um, it can get around decks that use a lot of field presence. Um, it's a good matchup against Chaos Dragons actually, it makes them, gives them a really hard time because of their, our monsters actually being stronger than theirs because obviously they rely on their big monsters. But of course Chaos Dragons do not exist in the OCG which is so, which is why um, in the OCG it is probably going to be more successful. Um, of course because we are TCG we're going to have to shape the deck a little bit differently and we're going to have to tweak some of the cards so we actually um, cater it towards stuff like Chaos Dragons. Because of Chaos Dragons still, um, Future Fusion probably will get hit in the September ban list. Um, of course that doesn't really help us because we are running this card. But in the OCG Zephyros, as I said, Zephyros does make a screw it out and um, Future Fusion is, isn't exactly necessary but it does put another monster on the board so you can actually get more you know, 1600 more damage, so you can OTK a little easier. With that being said, it's not necessary. So yeah, I hope you um, found this very interesting. Um, I hope it makes up for the week that I've been gone because I've been, um, yeah, quite busy doing non yu gi related stuff. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think of the deck. And once I actually do have all the cards, I'm going to make a deck profile because I'm going to have slight changes and it will be really really fun and um, I'll take it to some tournaments and hopefully I'll um, get first and everything so and uh, bring about a whole new deck type so yeah uh, thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys have a great week TCG Lover out